Welcome to the Brass Hand Woodwind Shop. This video is going to be about how to solder, and I'm going to use a finger hook on a trumpet that broke off to show you how to solder. Trumpet finger hooks are one of the easiest things to solder, so if you're going to practice soldering, start with that. In this tutorial, I'm going to assume that you know a little bit about soldering. If you do not know anything about soldering, I'm going to leave a link in the description below for two short videos. Watch those videos first and then watch this video. After that, you should be able to do simple soldering jobs. This video will not teach you everything about soldering, but it will teach the basics and it will help you get started on soldering. Here are a few of the supplies you'll need. Solder, and I recommend the lead tin solder. That seems to work the best for band instruments. And also it's the kind that is solid. It does not have the flux core. And for flux, I use acid flux, it's a liquid acid flux, and it seems to work the best for band instruments. For the torch, I recommend an acetylene torch, but if you do not have that, you can use a butane torch, or you can also use a propane torch. Always be sure to wear safety glasses when you solder, because solder can go flying and it can get to you in the eye. I've cleaned solder off of my safety glasses more than once. There are three things that you need to do before you solder. The first one is to clean up the solder, both on the part and on the instrument. I'm going to use the heat and wipe method to clean this off. I put it in a vise. Take an old t-shirt or t-shirt type material, fold it over so that there are four thicknesses, and then I put it around my finger. Then I heat this up, usually for about four or five seconds until I can see the solder melting. And then I quick wipe it off. I move the flame and wipe off the solder until it is clean. After you're done, it will still have the solder color, but all the solder will be off. Then I take this thing, which looks like a table leg. It's called a wooden assembly mandrel, and I use that to hold the trumpet while I work on that part of it. I clean this solder joint the same way. You heat it up for a few seconds, and you can see when the solder melts. And then you click remove the flame and wipe it. If you need to, move the t-shirt material to a clean spot. And you can see that the solder went onto the lacquer. Sometimes that just pops right off. I think I need to clean that just a little bit more though. There's still a little bit of solder left on there. Okay, that is clean. Solder does not stick to tarnish or lacquer, so the second thing to do if you are soldering on a tarnished or lacquered surface is to clean up the tarnish or the lacquer by either buffing with a buffing wheel and buffing compound or with sandpaper or a scraper. If you want to learn how to buff, look in the description below for a link to that video. I do not need to clean this solder joint because I'm already soldering on a clean surface, but if you do need to clean out the lacquer or the tarnish, I'll show you how to do it with sandpaper or a scraper. Sanding the finger hook is easy. Just take a piece of medium grit sandpaper and sand where you are going to be soldering, and you sand it till the tarnish is off of it. On the instrument, you need to be careful to only use the sandpaper where the piece is going to be going on the instrument. So what I do is I hold the sandpaper so that there's just a little bit sticking out, and then I carefully sand one side, and I'm careful not to get any of the lacquer. Then you turn it around and sand the other side. This is called a solder scraper or a triangular knife, and if you're going to use this, you hold it and you guide it right along the edge of the la where the lacquer meets the solder, and you guide it around. You carefully do this. You do not want to uh, have this tool slip because you can cause damage, and you clean up the solder that way, or if you need to, you can also clean up lacquer with this. If you want to solder where there is lacquer, you would mark where you want to remove the lacquer, and then you could scrape it with this tool. Usually if a part falls off and you're soldering it back on, you will not remove lacquer. You'll just have to solder on where there is already solder. The third and final thing to do before you solder is to clamp the part onto the instrument. I have two different types of soldering clamp here. You can get these from Faris Tools. In the description below, I will leave a link to where you can get these. What you do now is put the part on the instrument and then clamp it down. 
And for other solder joints, you may need more than one clamp, but for a finger hook, you just need one. And you line that up, and you can tell where it needs to go because of where the solder is. When that's lined up, check to see if there's any gap. There should be little or no gap between the part and the instrument. And this one is good, so this one is ready to solder. I turned the camera around so that you can look over my shoulder while I work. The trumpet right now is level. I'm going to turn it down so that the solder can flow more easily into the joint. So I'm heating the solder joint up for probably about four or five seconds, not for very long. And then I put some flux on there and heat it up for probably about, oh I don't know, about five or six more seconds. And then the solder or the flux will start to bubble a little bit. And you can see the solder flowing in there. You want it to flow all the way in. Uh, I need a little more. You want to be careful not to use too much solder. The tendency is to use way too much solder and too much heat. But when you're done with the solder joint, just stop adding solder and stop adding heat. And that solder joint looks good. It has been about three or four minutes and the solder joint has cooled off enough, so I'm going to remove the clamp. The flux that I use for the solder joint is acidic, so it will destroy the lacquer over time if I leave it there. So I'm going to neutralize it. I have a little spray bottle and I put ammonia and water in there. So I'm going to spray some of that onto there. That neutralizes the acid and the flux. I'm wiping off the neutralized flux and the solder joint is done. I hope this video has been helpful. Please subscribe for more band instrument repair videos and also if you want to learn more about soldering look in the description below for a link to the playlist on how to solder.